So the question of how do we reclaim or restore, uh, how do we create conditions for the renewal of our love for nature, when we live in environments that where there isn't a lot of nature, that's a hard question. When we live in cities, when we're in a, um, or a slum or a digital world. I had this conversation with um, this Brazilian guy, um, Claudio. I never can remember his last name, even though I know him pretty well. Um, he grew up in uh, favela in Sao Paulo that was considered one of the worst in the world. Maybe like for a while it was considered the most violent place on earth. And there is nothing growing there. It's, it's all humanity. But he has such a powerful connection to nature. And he said, that's because I was growing up in the, that part of nature that we call human beings. I think that the biggest distancing, um, it's not being in cities, it's being indoors in a virtual digital realm. In that case, the connection is much harder to reestablish. But it's, it's so primal, it's so innate in everybody. You take somebody who's been in that situation, you take them on a trip to the Amazon, or even uh, you know, barefoot on a farm somewhere, like, and you invoke that love of nature, that love of life, that love of the world, it's there. It's in people and it can come out through all of the conditioning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then you, know, you take somebody, they have that kind of experience, they fall in love with, with life, the living world, and then they go back to their previous environment and the influences of their previous environment try to pull them back into the state of disconnection that they were in. The influences include not only the, the physical built environment and the digital environment, but also the economic environment and the cultural environment that constantly call us away from our innate biophilia. So we can participate in the awakening and and. Um, maintenance of love by providing a counterforce to that pull, by reminding people not only through our words but also through our our presence and our actions that we are not alone here, that we are all part of life, 